country house in Clarendon Hills, they don't have to dress up in ghost costumes or visit a haunted house. They have their own resident ghost right here at the restaurant. Now, I kind of just gave myself chills thinking about it, but it's okay. We're going to do this one together. Let's go check it out. This is our haunted episode, so I'm a little freaked out. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't get you. Tell me how you became to be known as being haunted. It was originally built in the early 40s. We used to have shutters on all the windows, and one Sunday morning, all the shutters opened at the same time. They said there's definitely a spirit here, and something about unrequited love with a bartender, and that's why she's still here. Well, besides being haunted, it's also about the food. We've got tons of recommendations and suggestions about this place, so what are we gonna be making in the kitchen today? Today, we're gonna make a fire burger. Ah! Salsa and peppers and pepper jack cheese, and it's served open face on garlic toast. We're gonna be running it every Friday for the next month. Do we know if our ghost likes burgers? You gotta okay. ask her. Do you like burgers? Better watch out, you might have a light go off or on. We've got lots of lights with us. <laughs> we'll keep an eye out, all right. I heard about this fire burger. Let's make this thing. First, we're gonna have your six pounds of ground chuck and onion, roasted red pepper, green chilies, jalapeno chopped. Oh boy. The Country House secret seasoning salt. So while we're mixing, Kevin, do you have any ghost stories? I do. Motion sensor went off, so went upstairs, the light was on, shut it off, went back downstairs. The bartender that was closing with me said, hey, the light's still on. So I went back upstairs, opened the door, shut the light off, lock it, and the door starts shaking. So I ran down the stairs, set the alarm, and ran off. I'll let Kevin finish up. Let's see who else has a ghost story to share. There's this girl that'll come in, and she's this tall blonde. It's like the ghost takes her over and just like chirps up everyone here, and then she just vanishes. All the candles are unlit, and one morning, a candle just was lit. I was probably one of the first bartenders here. I was the only one that would go through the back door. Sometimes you'd have to bring money up. The desk would be fine. Walk back upstairs, everything, papers were all over the floor, and it was cold. Yes. She kept coming back because she was in love with one of the bartenders. You might have asked her out. I backed that, maybe. <laughs> I just got finished hearing the ghost stories. I gotta settle down, calm myself down, and try this burger. Let's dig in. Salsa on top, and then you get all those spices when you bite into it. I would say I was a little nervous coming in here because I don't, I don't deal with ghosts. Uh, she played a game with me one night with a calculator upstairs in the office. One of the calculators just randomly went on. I said, hey, knock it off and then it didn't do it again for the rest of the night. Friendly ghosts, good drinks, the food is awesome, the burgers. Make sure you come and keep a little eye out when you're here. You never know when something might pop off.